in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. They will offer full submission to Allah on that day, and whatever gods they fabricated will fail them. For those who disbelieve and hinder others from the way of Allah, we will add more punishment to their punishment for all the corruption they spread. Consider, O Prophet, the day we will call against every faith community a witness of their own, and we will call you to be a witness against these people of yours. We have revealed to you the book as an explanation of all things, a guide, a mercy, and good news for those who fully submit. Indeed, Allah commands justice, grace, as well as courtesy to close relatives. He forbids indecency, wickedness, and aggression. He instructs you, so perhaps you will be mindful. Honor Allah's covenant when you make a pledge, and do not break your oaths after confirming them. Having made Allah your guarantor, surely Allah knows all you do. Do not be like the woman who foolishly unravels her yarn after it is firmly spun by taking your oaths as a means of deceiving one another in favor of a stronger group. Surely, Allah tests you through this, and on the day of judgment, He will certainly make your differences clear to you. Had Allah willed, He could have easily made you one community of believers, but He leaves to stray whoever He wills and guides whoever He wills, and you will certainly be questioned about what you used to do. And do not take your oaths as a means of deceiving one another, or your feet will slip after they have been firm. Then you will taste the evil consequences of hindering others from the way of Allah, and you will suffer a tremendous punishment. And do not trade Allah's covenant for a fleeting gain. What is with Allah is certainly far better for you if only you knew. Whatever you have will end. But whatever Allah has is everlasting, and we will certainly reward the steadfast according to the best of their deeds. Whoever does good, whether male or female, and is a believer, we will surely bless them with a good life, and we will certainly reward them according to the best of their deeds. When you recite the Quran, seek refuge with Allah from Satan, the accursed. He certainly has no authority over those who believe and put their trust in their Lord. His authority is only over those who take him as a patron and who, under his influence, associate others with Allah in worship. When we replace a verse with another, and Allah knows best what he reveals, they say, you Muhammad are just a fabricator. In fact, most of them do not know. Say, the Holy Spirit has brought it down from your Lord with the truth to reassure the believers and as a guide and good news for those who submit to Allah. And we surely know that they say, no one is teaching him except a human. But the man they refer to speaks a foreign tongue, whereas this Quran is in eloquent Arabic. Surely those who do not believe in Allah's revelations will never be guided by Allah, and they will suffer a painful punishment. No one fabricates lies except those who disbelieve in Allah's revelations, and it is they who are the true liars. Whoever disbelieves in Allah after their belief, not those who are forced while their hearts are firm in faith, but those who embraced disbelief wholeheartedly, they will be condemned by Allah and suffer a tremendous punishment. This is because they prefer the life of this world over the hereafter. Surely, Allah never guides those who choose to disbelieve. They are the ones whose hearts, ears, and eyes are sealed by Allah, and it is they who are truly heedless. Without a doubt, they will be the losers in the hereafter. As for those who emigrated after being compelled to renounce Islam, then struggled in Allah's cause and persevered. Your Lord, O Prophet, is truly all-forgiving, most merciful after all. Consider the day 
when every soul will come pleading for itself, and each will be paid in full for what it did, and none will be wronged. And Allah sets forth the example of a society which was safe and at ease, receiving its provision in abundance from all directions. But its people met Allah's favors with ingratitude. So Allah made them taste the clutches of hunger and fear for their misdeeds. A messenger of their own actually did come to them, but they denied him. So the torment overtook them while they persisted in wrongdoing. So eat from the good, lawful things which Allah has provided for you, and be grateful for Allah's favors, if you truly worship Him alone. He has only forbidden you to eat carrion, blood, swine, and what is slaughtered in the name of any other than Allah. But if someone is compelled by necessity, neither driven by desire, nor exceeding immediate need, then surely Allah is all-forgiving, most merciful. Do not falsely declare with your tongues. This is lawful and that is unlawful, only fabricating lies against Allah. Indeed, those who fabricate lies against Allah will never succeed. It is only a brief enjoyment. Then they will suffer a painful punishment. To the Jews, we have forbidden what we related to you before. We did not wrong them but it was they who wronged themselves. As for those who commit evil ignorantly or recklessly, then repent afterwards and mend their ways, then your Lord is surely all-forgiving, most merciful. Indeed, Abraham was a model of excellence, devoted to Allah, perfectly upright, not a polytheist. Utterly grateful for Allah's favors, so he chose him and guided him to the straight path. We blessed him with all the goodness in this world, and in the hereafter he will certainly be among the righteous. Then we revealed to you, O Prophet, saying, Follow the faith of Abraham, the upright, who was not one of the polytheists. Honoring the Sabbath was ordained only for those who disputed about Abraham and surely your Lord will judge between them on the Day of Judgment regarding their disputes. Invite all to the way of your Lord with wisdom and kind advice, and only debate with them in the best manner. Surely your Lord alone knows best who has strayed from his way and who is rightly guided. If you retaliate, then let it be equivalent to what you have suffered. But if you patiently endure, it is certainly best for those who are patient. Be patient, O Prophet, for your patience is only with Allah's help. Do not grieve over those who disbelieve, nor be distressed by their schemes. Surely, Allah is with those who shun evil and who do good deeds. <laughs>